Hello. I'm on video number five, and I'll be uh, having a demonstration on the power sliding angles in Ray Tracer Six. The purpose is uh, to teach you uh, the power sliding during the drift, to become a champion, and to beat the racers in Ray Tracer Six. And many of the Ray Tracer fans and the racers uh, know the power sliding angles. But uh, something could happen to the racers. Let's find out. Let's let's get through the demonstrations. The lines are for the demonstration purposes only, and it can only be demonstrated uh, for this presentation. Your the vehicle you're using may vary depending on a under control of your vehicle. Look at the blue line. The blue line uh, shows that this will show the high cornering when drifting. This uh, will allow the drivers to uh, corner be corner good, uh, corner better on uh, sharp turns or on the tight turns. This uh, will also overtake the vehicles uh, during the race to get into the to get into a higher position and and win the race. Higher speed, higher cornering. Higher speed equals higher cornering. And look at the red line. This will show show your higher power sliding. You can use your higher power sliding on the normal and and your if the corners are okay. You can use it on the normal turns. Overturning will skid out of your cornering and pos and have a possibility to uh hit the fences or on a or on the guardrails. And this will reduce your speed. You can only go for the higher power sliding if it's possible. If you are finished drifting, your vehicle must be put back into the straight position to go for the to go for the highest speed and better accelerations. You can also go for the fast fast cornerings on a fast turns if it's possible for you to go for it. Be a nice driver, go for the gold, be a champion.